So top food trends for 2018. I also feel like there are trends that are trends amongst foodies, and then there's trends that are more mainstream. Cauliflower had a great year. Pokeballs. Brentwood corn. What do you think unicorn foods are? Food for unicorns? Yeah. I think it's like foods that are like very like brightly colored. There's a whole subculture of people who love unicorn foods. I mean anything with swirls of pink, purple, and blue. Does that involve glitter? The more glitter, the better. Um, horns. I'm into that aesthetic, yes. Yeah, I think to make something a unicorn food, it just has to be very colorful and have a certain palette that's blues, pinks, and purples. And again, the more glitter, the better. Is this a trick question? Is the Impossible Burger actually a burger made of unicorn meat? The basic idea is a vegetarian or vegan food for meat eaters. I have tried the Impossible Burger. I had one that bled. The Impossible Burger uses heme to get that irony flavor. Cheese ball. This is not like cheese whip where you go. <laughs> I basically describe it like a very fancy but cream, like a cream cheese flavor to it. The instant pot. Is it ramen noodles? That is like the one kitchen gadget that I would definitely want because it can do 10,000 things. But you can throw anything in there pretty much and just forget about it and it comes out delicious. The end, edible gold. I mean, not that I've had it. Is that just like put edible gold on whatever? I've seen edible gold on like cookies and cakes. I mean, anything shiny looks pretty. So. It doesn't really have much of a taste. It really is about the cachet, either in your own mind or in the minds of onlookers. I feel like it's a cop out to make something fancier without actually trying. It's just a reminder of how rich America is right now before the coming recession. Trends. Well, I guess I just wonder whether or not like people buy it because they actually taste good or people are just doing it for like the Instagram photo. This sort of brings up that whole question of Instagram ready food. So foods that look good to the camera regardless of whether they taste good on the plate. I feel like the last few years have been really focused on like vegan and gluten free. This year it's gonna, the pendulum is gonna swing back into like meats and cheeses and really rich foods. With all of these states legalizing marijuana, maybe we'll see some edibles that are more like high or haute cuisine. Maybe like a flambe that also gets you high. I don't know. I'm not psychic. Have you seen the video though of a chef that uses tweezers to make a tiny burrito and feed it to a hamster? That's actually a new food trend 2019 is making tiny foods to be consumed by hamsters and other small animals. <laughs>